Hey what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make Japanese barbecue eel which is one barbecue eel and three types of ways to eat it. So I hope you like this video. Let's get to it. First things first, to make barbecue eel on rice, we need rice. So you should start cooking your rice now. Make sure you use Japanese short grain rice and not long grain rice or you won't get the authentic taste. Next, we're going to start making the dashi stock for one of the eating methods. So fill a saucepan with water, add a piece of kombu kelp, and let it soak for about 5 minutes. Then, bring the saucepan to a boil over high heat. When the water is boiling, remove your piece of kombu kelp and immediately add in your bonito flakes. Let the bonito flakes boil for about 1 minute while stirring. Then remove the pot from the stove and strain the bonito flakes out of the stock. Return the stock to the stove top, add a little sake, a touch of light soy sauce, and a pinch of salt. Then simply boil until the alcohol is evaporated and you've finished the stock. Next, we will prepare the characteristic Japanese barbecue eel sauce for this dish. To a small saucepan, add half a cup of mirin and a quarter cup of sake, and then boil over medium-high heat until the alcohol is evaporated. Then, add a half a cup of light soy sauce to the saucepan, along with a touch of honey, and stir until the honey is dissolved. Reduce this mixture over medium-low heat until the sauce becomes much thicker. Be careful not to use too much heat, however, because the sugar from the mirin and the honey can cause this to boil over. When the sauce has been reduced to its desired consistency, remove from the stovetop and set it aside for later use. We are finally ready to prepare the barbecue eel. Now in North America, it's near impossible to get uncooked Japanese eel, so we're just going to have to use cooked Japanese eel. Now heat some oil in a pan over medium-high heat, and when it comes to temperature, add in your barbecue eel fillets. Fry each side of the eel for 4-5 to five minutes in order to crisp it up a bit. Be careful not to damage the meat when flipping the fillet over. Also, while cooking, brush each side of the eel with a little bit of sake to keep it moist. When you are finished cooking, remove the eel from the stovetop and with a sharp knife, cut each fillet into about 1 inch pieces. The only thing that's left is to assemble our barbecue eel rice bowl, so fill a large bowl with your freshly cooked rice. Drizzle some of the barbecue eel sauce over top the rice. And then completely cover with the pieces of barbecue eel. Looks delicious. And then finish it off with a little bit more of that delicious sauce. And with that, you are ready to serve this barbecue eel on rice. Now for the three methods of eating, prepare a tray with three bowls, some diced green onions, nori pieces, wasabi, a glass of the prepared dashi stock, and of course, the barbecue eel rice. For the first method, simply eat the barbecue eel rice by itself. It's already packed full of flavor, and with the rice, it surely won't disappoint. For method number two, scoop some of the barbecue eel and rice into your bowl and add some of the diced green onions and wasabi. The wasabi gives the dish a delightful kick while the green onion adds a fresh flavor. For the third and final method, prepare your bowl the same as number two. 
but this time add some dashi stock to the bowl and top it off with the nori pieces. The stock and nori serve as a beautiful complement to the rich flavor of the eel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you really enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. If you really want to help me out, you could share my video with your friends and family too. Well, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye for now.